NASA's Artemis II mission, the first crewed mission on the American Space Agency's path to establishing a long-term presence at the moon for science and exploration through Artemis, is all set to send four astronauts to the moon in 2024. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, on Monday named its first astronaut crew bound for the moon in more than 50 years. The crew is expected to become the first moon voyagers since the Apollo program. The Artemis II team will be made up of three Americans, Victor Glover, Christina Hammock coach, and Reed Wiseman, and one Canadian, Jeremy Hansen. The team includes Coach as the first woman and Glover as the first person of colour who will eventually go on to step foot on the lunar surface. Glover will be the pilot of the spacecraft and Wiseman will be the commander of Artemis II. The Artemis II crew was announced on Monday during an event held at Ellington Field, home to NASA's aircraft operations located near the Johnson Space Centre here in Houston. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and other agency leaders were joined at the event by almost all of the members of the active astronaut corps, less than three currently aboard the International Space Station. Christina Koch, 44, is an engineer who already holds the records for longest continuous space flight by a woman and was also a part of NASA's first three all-female spacewalks. She has served as a flight engineer aboard the space station for Expedition 59, 60 and 61. Meanwhile, Glover, 46, is a US Navy aviator and veteran of four spacewalks who NASA has designated as pilot of Artemis II. He will be the first black astronaut ever to be sent on a lunar mission. As a flight engineer aboard the space station, Glover has contributed to scientific investigations, technology demonstrations and participated in four spacewalks. Hansen is a Canadian Space Agency astronaut flying under an agreement between the US and Canada. He will be the first non-American to leave Earth orbit and fly to the moon. A colonel in the Canadian Armed Forces and former flighter pilot, he holds a Bachelor of Science in Space Science from the Royal Military College of Canada in Kingston, Ontario and a Master of Science in Physics from the same institution in 2000 with a research focus on wide field of view satellite tracking. Reed Weissman is another former US Navy fighter pilot and has been named as Mission Commander. This will be his second trip into space, serving previously as a flight engineer aboard the International Station for Expedition 41 from May through November 2014. Wiseman has logged more than 165 days in space, including almost 13 hours as lead spacewalker during two trips outside the orbital complex. The Artemis II crew represents thousands of people working tirelessly to bring us to the stars. This is humanity's crew. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said on stage, we are going. US President Joe Biden privately called the four on Sunday to congratulate them, the White House said. Artemis II will mark the debut crewed flight, but not the first lunar landing of an Apollo successor program aimed at returning astronauts to the moon's surface later this decade and ultimately establishing a sustainable outpost there as a stepping stone to future human explorations of Mars. Targeted for launch in late 2024, Wiseman, Glover, Coach and Hansen will lift off aboard NASA's Orient spacecraft atop a space launch system rocket from Pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It will mark the first time that both the capsule and booster will fly with astronauts aboard and only the second launch of both vehicles together after the uncrewed Artemis 1 test flight in 2022. The 10-day Artemis 2 mission will not orbit or land on the moon but instead follow a hybrid free return trajectory. The kickoff Artemis 1 mission was successfully completed in December 2022, capping the inaugural launch of NASA's powerful next generation mega rocket and its newly built Orion spacecraft on an uncrewed test flight that lasted 25 days. Compared with the Apollo, born of the Cold War era US Soviet space race, Artemis is a broader based program enlisting commercial partners such as Elon Musk, SpaceX, and space agencies of Canada, Europe, and Japan. It marks a major redirection of NASA's human spaceflight ambitions beyond low Earth orbit after decades focused on flights to and from the space station. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.